Plum Island for 50 years has been the front line, what we call agro defense, you know, protecting the U.S. livestock, protecting the animals, and doing the research on foot and mouth disease and these other foreign animal diseases that's critical that we can better understand what it takes to detect these diseases and prevent them from spreading. You can, you know, bring an economy to its knees by infecting its food supply. A 2.8 to 4.2 billion dollar impact to the economy. The NBAF is unique because Plum Island is the only facility of its type that does foreign animal diseases. And some of those zoonotic diseases we have no vaccines for. In fact, we barely know enough about these diseases. And to be able to study them effectively, we need a BSL-4 for what we call large animals or livestock. There is no existing facility like that in the country. Biosafety level four is based on the pathogens that we work on, which have high risk of life-threatening disease to humans. And some of those diseases that go from the animals to humans are, are, are devastating to humans. I mean, humans can die if we get those diseases. We need to protect the workers that are going to be working on those specific pathogens because there is no vaccine that they could take. There is no countermeasures. The risk of a foreign animal disease of entering the country are only going to increase, such as the Nipah and Hendra virus. We've seen outbreaks you know, in Australia and Asia, so we need to have that capability. Plum Island does not have proximity to research capabilities. It doesn't have proximity to workforce, no feasible evacuation. Anybody that's ever driven on the Long Island Expressway knows there'd be no way. The decision maker does not need to pick the site that had the least environmental impact. He just needs to be aware of what those impacts are.